we haven't heard exactly what the NFL schedule is going to be like for the Browns coming up, but certainly they are going to be on prime time. The networks can't wait to put Baker Mayfield, Odell Beckham, Nick Chubb, the Cleveland Browns, the orange helmet. They want that packed stadium in Cleveland. They want a, the nation to get a good look at that because they think it's going to be a lot of fun. And I hope it is. Here's my one thought. I'm always a bit cautious in that because all of a sudden it's like Browns fans are chanting Super Bowl and it's fun to do that. You got to make the playoffs first. And I do like the fact that while Freddie Kitchens, the rookie coach, is aiming high, so is John Dorsey, the general manager. You know, Baker Mayfield, of course, thinks he should never lose a game, and that's great. You know, you got to win your division first. You still have to beat out the Steelers, and you still have to beat out the Ravens. I'm going to discount the Bengals. They've fallen apart. Um, my view on both of those teams is like until the Browns kind of drive stakes through their heart and make the playoffs when those other guys don't, uh, I fear them. I still feel ba fear Baltimore. I still fear Pittsburgh. And I'm anxious to see how the Browns look on the big media stage. Freddie Kitchens did great as an offensive coordinator when zero was expected of him. You know, he's never been a head coach before. He takes over a team with a lot of talent, a lot of strong personalities. How will he do? I mean, a lot of this season, too, is will be, we don't like to talk about it, but rookie coaches tend to learn on the job. No matter how many plays you call, by the way, you only call plays for eight grand total games in the NFL. That's half a season, eight games. He's going to run into stuff he's never seen before as the head coach of the Browns. And John Dorsey is going to have to really help him, I think, through some of these problems. This is not to say that, oh, the Browns, they're going to be overhyped, it's going to be terrible. It's none of that stuff. But it is to say, you know, we've got to slow down a little bit and realize, don't even be surprised that this team gets off to kind of a slow start as they're putting all this stuff together. I mean, it's a, to me, it's a, it's a big deal, too. You know, Austin Corbett's got to step in there and play that right guard position for Kevin Zeitler. And we got to see it left tackle. Greg Robinson was brought back. He only played like nine games there. Let's see how he does over a full season because he, he had failed with a couple of other teams. So this is a team still with some question marks, but boy, it's a team that's brought in a lot of talent. But final, final one thing, not only is Freddie Kitchens new to the job, but you look at the offensive coordinator, Todd Munkin, he comes in from Tampa Bay. Defensive coordinator, Steve Wilkes, he comes in from being a head coach at Arizona. He just go right down the line. The new coach after new coach after new coach who came in from different teams, it's going to take a while for that staff to come together. So actually what I was thinking, it wouldn't be so bad if some of the Browns primetime games maybe were later in the season when I think the team will be operating at a little bit higher level. But to me, a year ago, standing here, going into April, I would say, well, let's see, the Browns, they just did get Tyrod Taylor. We know he's going to start at quarterback. And they did get Jarvis Landry. They probably won't go 0-16 again. Maybe they'll win four games, five games. But to think back then, a year later, we're talking about the Browns on prime time, never would have imagined it.